Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Manny. Here for you guys, I have a, uh, a special package. What we got here, we have a Beach Power D5 mod package, black POM Top S, and the mod kit version 2 black sparkle. Here I have the dual single D5 top upgrade kit. This is what's going to go inside my my bill. Uh, finally, I got words from Case Labs that my package should be on the way this week. So uh, let's see what we got here. This package we have the D5 MCP655 mod kit. This one is uh, here's uh, uh, the package in case you guys um, the number. In case you guys want to, you know, go ahead and get this. I got this package of Amazon um, through Titan Rick. So, it comes to two. It's two of them, so. And the other one here is the D5655 Mod Top. Alright, this is the Top S. Alright. Black. Let's put this, side on the, uh, this box on the side. Now, we're going to open it. Well, let me finish with this one first. I can show you guys what it is. Okay. Let me not. Let me put my gloves on. I don't want any, you know, fingerprints on it. So, all right. Wow, this is a beautiful black sparkle. This is really nice. I don't know if you guys can tell how beautiful it is through the camera, but. It's a really nice color, man. I really like this color. Wow. All right, so here's the mounting bracket that gonna go on the, um, in this part on the mop top. So this is the rubber um, feet for the anti-vibration rubber feet. Uh, that's how it goes. That you can either mount it. That's if you mount it like this, like on the bottom of your case, or if you mount it like like this, hanging against like the back of your case. So there's another piece in here. I don't know what it is. So we'll have to figure out what it's that for. So let's put this on the side. Because what we're gonna do today is I'm just gonna assemble the whole thing. So I'm putting that on the side. I had a break. Uh, I'm gonna have to um, do some uh, braiding on the cables uh, for my D5 because uh, I'm using the, the a pump that I have, um, you know, spur pi uh, pump that I have in there from EK. So right, what we got here? This box I uh, I opened it before. So it's not pretty much not like really like a real unboxing because I, I was I wanted to see what it was but I haven't put it together so that's what we're gonna do today. So as you guys can see, this is the mop top. All right. So the upgrade kit goes on top of this. You remove these two um, stop fittings and you know and then you screw them with the screw that comes with a with the kit. Your D5 goes in he, inside here. And it should go something like this. So, and pretty much that's how it's gonna look. So, guys, I I, I apologize if my, if I'm making these videos kind of long, but I'm trying to be as more as more um as much informative as I can. Um, I really don't like to make these these long videos, but this is the only way some of you guys that don't know how to do this can can have an understanding on how to do it. So, because like some of you, I've been going, I, I was going crazy looking for information and videos and stuff like that. So, I'm trying to pass this on to those that don't know how to do this. So, you know, I'm because I'm I'm not an expert, but I'm going a uh, uh, you know, as, I'm going along with it. So, you know. All right, so here's the 250 upgrade kit. Let me get it out of the, out of this uh, bubble wrap. There you go. 
All right. Here's the package. Um, it comes with a manual inside. I guess it tells you what to do, how to install it. So. I should take my gloves, right? Yeah, I think I should do that. Alright, what we got here? We got some screws and the rubber gasket that goes underneath. And uh, we got more O-rings. Well, this is the, the O-rings. There's more O-rings in here. These are uh, anti-vibration rubber feet. All right, for the for the other part that is inside, which is this here. That's if you want to mount it like this. I believe the other one I show you, you have the option to leave it like on the on the floor, or just mount it against the against the case. But this one you can just you know to keep it standing up like that. All right, so uh, that's it, guys. There's nothing else in the box, so you know we're gonna install. We're gonna assemble the whole thing and we're gonna install this um, D5 on it. So, like I said before, I need to break this, but I don't have any any anything right now to do this. So, uh, that was something I will do later on. But, um, let's go ahead and do this real quick. All right, so where we at? All right, let's put this away. I'm not gonna need this right now. Um, that away get these out so that's what I need is right at this moment um, all right I need this 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 are let me see which, which side. I'm gonna use the the man the installation guy that came with the box so All right, as you guys can see, the mod top. All right, so we got this. All right, we're gonna be using the what, which one are they? These are the M3 12 screws. So we're gonna use the, the slim ones. All right, so and the O-ring. So let's go ahead and do this real quick. All right, let me take my gloves so I can get the O-rings and stuff out of the plastic. Guys, I want to thank you, those that um, subscribe, that you know, keep commenting on on the um, on YouTube. All right. So, if you know somebody else that is interested in this, just please let them know. Subscribe. You know, that way I can I can continue doing this for you guys. So, right, we're taking these screws out. You got the old rings out. All right, so let's see. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna use a little, um, a little bit of alcohol isopropyl or isopropyl, whatever you call this. I'm sorry for my pronunciation. So, and um, I guess remove the grease, any any type of grease on top of this. I don't know if people do that, but I just want to do it. Um, make sure there's no. Okay, great. And I'm gonna use the. I'm gonna remove the um the cylinder. Okay, because I really don't want to scratch it. Put them on the side. All right, and this is the part that's gonna go on top of the mop top. Okay, it's right up. So all rings goes in here. There you go. The other all ring goes in there. Um, now I gotta find the position for this. All right. So this is how this goes. Yeah. Right, so now I'm gonna set it in the table. All right, and I'm gonna put the all ring the M3s I'm 
Okay, let me zoom in a little bit. We're gonna screw them up. All right, the way we're gonna do it, I'm gonna do it is like a like a cross. The same way you do it with, with when you installing your processor. Um, well, not the processor, but when you start installing the water block um, on your CPU, you start it like, and then you go like cross like this. So. Gotta remember, this gotta be as tight as possible because you don't want no lick. I got a order um, from Perform Performance PCs a a cap for the cylinder because this one comes with only one um, one hole and I want to have the, the one that comes with three that way I can have the um, install the pipe which I also ordered I'm gonna show you guys in a in a little bit all right this is almost done. This for now. Yeah, this one was a little bit loose. Now it's tight. There you go. I don't think there should be any leak. Great. Right, so pretty much that's how it's gonna go. Then we screw this back in, in there. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get, remove that foam in there. Okay. Pretty much, I'm supposed to remove, um, remove this from the wires and uh, but I don't have the, 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 the what do you call this the clippers um, to remove them and then the, the wires will go through these holes right here um, I don't have that but I'm just going to show you real quick how this is going to go so, so we're going here okay so mind you this will to go what is the old ring for this as a matter of fact let me remove the cylinder okay there's an old ring in here So the O-ring goes in here. Now we're gonna set up the pump. Now the pump is gonna go in here like so. Boom. Now I want the wires to be facing backwards because this, this is gonna be sitting like against against the case like this. So then we just gonna pass through the wires. All right, that's a four pin and a regular Molex cable. So that goes in there, and then we just screw it up. Boom! There you go, guys. So now we put the, the cylinder. Like I mentioned before, now that's set up, right? So this part should go inside like so. 
right? But because I don't have the clippers to get the, the wires, um, the plastic thing out, I cannot do it right now. I just want to do this so I can show you guys because um, I'll start getting ready, um, start get, gathering the parts for the case. So, uh, so pretty much this is how it's going to go. Um, I'm going to show you this. This is also the aqua pipe for it that I ordered. So this is the aqua pipe black sparkle. I gotta clean it up. It's kind of all right. That should go in there. Let me take this up. This goes in here like like this. That's the reason why I want to get the cut that comes with the three ports. All right. So I can have one in there and um, the sauce uh, for the air going out, which I also ordered. So, and then this will go inside. Like All right, there you guys have it. That was pretty much um, my, um, this is how it should look already assembled so it's just a matter of getting the, i have the other the other set of this coming up um because i want to do two separate loops one for this for the cpu and one for the video cards so i hope you guys like it thumbs up let me know in the comments um i did something wrong or whatever just let me know guys uh i talk to you guys soon money out